everyone. I wanted to come on here on this 4th of July and I am going to bring a message that I think needs to be spoken at this time. Um, there is so much going on on this planet today and there's a lot of people in fear, in hatred, in anger, in resentment, in these lower vibrations. But on the flip side, there are many, many people waking up to the higher frequencies and energies on this planet. These frequencies of love, forgiveness, gratitude, you know, freedom, healing, all of these things are here to help us and to nourish us at this time. Now as a CPS mom, a survivor, I want to speak to all of you who have experienced this trauma in your life of having your family separated. There are, to all the other people out there who have their families, never take that for granted. Never, ever, because there are many of us who do not have our families together. And with this corona stuff going on on this planet, there are many who have not seen their little ones or so-called children for this entire time during this pandemic. And... You know, before that, they were only able to see them supervised. We were only able to possibly see them and speak to them supervised in artificial type of environments. We are in this together, and I believe the things that are going on on this planet at this time are really having people question more and more and to step back and to maybe look at the bigger picture. Um, for many, many people, you can't just continue on in your day-to-day -day routines that you were doing before. And so I think that this is what it's taking to see the healing that needs to take place personally within our lives because everything starts from within each one of us going inside and doing this internal work to find the keys that are within. But there are collectives also needing to be healed and a lot of things surfacing. And we need to be compassionate at this time and to come together because there are those forces that exist that want to conquer and divide. But the things that are going on truly are being allowed to take place because it brings about growth and healing, needed growth and healing. And so I just want to say to all of you that turn towards love, divine love. Speak your truth. Do everything that you can right now to make your life what you want it to be. Work on yourself internally because you can't help others. You can't help your family until you're able to help yourself, to truly love yourself, to truly stop all the noises and the distractions, and then to be able to hear the still small voice and to step out on that path that is laid out for each of us. We each have a path that has been laid out for us. We are significant. We are here with a purpose. And I know that these hard times can be so, so devastating. And we feel like giving up sometimes. Not just moms and dads, but our elderly and our little ones. Sometimes you don't know where to turn and you don't understand what's going on. Know that you're in a good place because you know something is not right and you will start to question. And as you question, you will be heard. You are being listened to and you will be answered. You will find those answers. They will come to you and they will come when you are able to stop and you're able to really sit with yourself, face off with yourself, and take the time to really go within. That's really what it's, this is all about. This time is 
so needed and we really do need to focus on the solutions of what's going on. Be compassionate with what has taken place and the collectives that need to be healed, the different pain and the suffering that continues on and that has happened. But if we stay stuck in the past or we continue to just only look towards the future, we miss the present moment and the moment right now. This is a gift. This is the present that we need to be stepping inside of right now. So, you know, I don't know what else to say besides when I look around today, I think that this shaking that we are feeling within us and that we are seeing around is for a higher purpose than what we can often see at the time. And as a mom who doesn't have her little ones with her, I haven't been able to see my daughters, my three daughters, for several months or to really be able to speak to them. Um, and with my sons, it's supervised visits whenever I can. And I am fortunate, I'm a fortunate mom to have that in this situation because like I said, many are not with their families at all. They don't even know where they are or they have the knowledge that they are with someone, have been placed with someone who is unsafe, who is actually abusive and neglectful. This system is not here to actually be our friend and to help us out in a way that we originally may think of when we first step into this, that we think that, well, we have a very distorted view of what is actually going on and it sometimes takes us going through the fire to see clearly.